about America. Yeah, to say to NATO, we are here. To say to America, we are not with you. We are with Russia. And today, we want to say to Russia, thank you for being there when it was not fashionable to be there. And do not doubt our support, Russia. Kubo, Pesqua, teach them a lesson. We need a new world order. We are tired of being dictated to by America. America wants to turn the whole world into an American village. We are not an American village. We are independent from America. And Russia is going to lead that way to demonstrate to the whole world that we don't care about America. Yeah. Shalom, shalom, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakodash. Let's give an all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Abar from the Prophets in Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great men, so I'm teaching me well. Peace and salutations to the old like scattered abroad. Real quick, I just want to touch on this video, the clip you see on the screen. I'm going to do a couple uh, more sh short clips, but I ultimately want to, you know, do a longer video. I'll put all these videos together. And um, pretty much going into these other nations, um, losing that sentiment of America, man. These other nations are going to team up with, with, with Russia, and they're going to be ready to come come against um, Russia with America. You know, the whole world is going to hate America, man. The beast shall hate the whore. So I'm going to grab this scripture. His brother put in a caption, Tazapanya underscore 144 it says revelation chapter 17 verse 16 and the 10 horns which thou sawest upon the beast these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire the whore is symbolic for america man okay the whore is symbolic for america this is babylon the great okay the mystery daughter of babylon okay the whore that sit upon many waters okay and the beast um is these um other nations man these other nations are going to team up and they're going to all team up with russia and they're all going to come against russia i mean it's like they're going to come against america and eventually america's going to be burnt with fire and that's bible prophecy man okay it says for the most high hath put by the way today is march or tomorrow i believe what is it tomorrow march or, or may 9th um this guy um putin's supposed to be coming out with, with a big speech that the whole world is waiting for see what he's going to say okay but it says, for the most I have put in her in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the most high shall be fulfilled. So these nations are going to team up together, you know, and give, you know, their their their, their, their pretty much their, na their nation over to the beast, their kingdom over to the beast. They're going to come comply with this beast system and it's going to be to try to take America out of power. They're going to try to go do it all against America. You know, to, to destroy America and establish their new world order, as this man said. OK, they want a new world order and they want the new world order to be, you know, America, not in order, not in, not in control or not in power, not in uh, in rulership. And for somebody else to be in rulership, one of these other nations to be in rulership and, you know, all together, they rule in one in one world, a, a um, in a one world government. OK, but it says biblical prophecy that when this happens and america is destroyed the lord is going to come back and establish his world order all right so i don't want to make that too long i just want to touch on that point real quick showing you that uh you know the, the time is short man okay the time is short and you have these weak nations now saying that they are strong these weak nations are going to team up with russia to come against america that's what they want they want to come against america they want to see america destroyed and they don't mind teaming up with, with, with uh, Russia to do it, but ultimately this is going to lead to the complete and total annihilation of this, you know, current world rulership. And these other nations think they're going to be next in power, but they're not. Now, let me grab this real quick. I don't want to make this too long, but I just want to touch on this point. This is the book of... Um, Psalm chapter 2, 
Verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and imagine and the people imagine a vain thing? They think they're going to be the next superpower. They think that, 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 that they're going to be, you know, the next people to, to, to be in charge. And the truth is, that's going to be Israel. OK, it says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their course from us. So they're trying to get, you know, America out of power, do away with America, do away with us, too, because, you know, they understand that, that that's a part of this thing, too. And with that, they're trying to establish their one world order, one world government, which is not going to prosper, man. OK, so they're, they are imagining a vain thing. They're raging after a vain thing, okay? And um, it's all going to lead, lead, lead to not, man. But I just want to touch on that real quick. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Abad, Babal, Shalom.